I'm going to take you through how to add a score to your project if that's something you'd like to do for your final project. It's a little bit different than in Scratch, uh, which is why some of us have been having the issues with it, all right? It involves something called a score watcher, which basically displays this uh, variable here, all right? This is for creating scores using variables. So basically what I've done here is I've got a bit of code that says whenever my monster is touching the mouse pointer, it's going to broadcast a message to all of the sprites. and It's going to say score, okay? And it's going to wait 0.5 seconds. We'll get to the 0.5 seconds in a minute. What I did was I created a variable. In fact, I've got different variables here. When you click on the variable score, for example, you see there's something called add watcher. If you click add watcher, it creates a score watcher for it. The same would be true for points. If I click on points, I can add a watcher for points. And I don't really want a watcher for points, but you see I've now added one. So I can just put that somewhere else to the side or I can delete it if I don't want it. Yes. Okay. Um, the next step is to create your code. Basically, what do you want it to react to? What's going in your forever if loop? What's your condition? Do I want it to touch the mouse pointer? Do I want it to touch a specific um, sprite or character, etc.? Right? And you create that condition here. All right? So, similar to something that I've got here. Again, I've just used the mouse pointer for simplicity's sake. Now, on the score watcher, what you need to do are the following. You basically need to have it receive that broadcast. This is the code that comes, by the way. This is the code that comes with the watcher. Leave it. It works. Okay? If you wanted to change the font type and size, that's perfectly fine. But leave the rest of it so that it continues to work properly. When I receive a score, change score by one. Okay? Basically, when I receive the broadcast score from my actor, which is the monster, then change the score by one. Okay? Back to the actor. Another thing we need to do is we need to, when we create our score variable, is you need a reset value. So that whenever you need to start the game again, it starts at that value that you've determined. And I've placed a zero there. So basically when the game starts, the points are at zero. Now if I wanted to start with a score and then deduct points, well then I would change that and I'd say, okay, let's start with 20 points, right? And every time you hit um, an obstacle, you'll lose a point. So the reset value would in that case then be 20 instead. And if that were the case, then what we would do is we would, instead of having the score go up by one here, we would change it by negative one. Have a look here. See my score changing? Remember I have a weight of 0.5 so that it doesn't keep adding, right? So I hope this helps some of you who are uh, trying to incorporate scores into your project and are used to doing it through scratch. Okay. There you go.